Hey everybody, Hidden Object Guru here with another Zombie Night Terror Challenge Guide. This one's for Keep It Together. Get at least four zombies out of the cave in the level A Stroll on the Moon. So, first off, you need to blow up this wall. So make yourself a... There we go. Alright, now just detonate that Overlord. And these guys should get through there, no problem. Uh, some of them will end up facing the wrong way. It doesn't matter as long as they all survive. You're down, now down to nine. So you can sacrifice five of them, and by the end of this level, you will have done so. So in order to get that DNA up there, you need to collect... Uh, you need to turn this guy, one of these guys, into a crawler. So that's three. Then you need to jump once and then twice. So that's another four for a total of seven. So if you did that first, you wouldn't have enough to blow up this and collect that DNA. So always do this first. Fun fact, this DNA has uh, 15 in it. So it's, uh, it's good if you can collect it. Uh, you can risk collecting it after doing the rest of this, because you're not going to overfill. It's not like it has 20 of it, and you'll be, uh, 20 DNA in there, and you'll be wasting some. All right. There he goes. All right, so now this is where this game gets unbelievably annoying. <laughs> Please try to bear with me. All right, what you want to do is set an overlord and get him to throw guys upstairs. All right. Okay. Just make sure they make it there. That's all that matters. Remember, you need eight to do this, right? So you turn them into a crawler. Do they make it? Are they making it? Are they making it? Then you have a second guy point these guys at the wall so they don't uh, fall back down while you're getting a tank up there. That's right, you're gonna make a tank. You might have to burn, you're gonna have to burn this guy to do it, but it's 100% it's worth doing. All right, so now, get ready to jump. This part is so finicky, and if it, you screw it up, you will have to restart the level, so get ready. So you make him jump. You land daintily, and just start pausing and unpausing here. Because the second he turns green, hit it again. All right. You're down to three, so again, you're not going to be wasting any by getting this. All right. As you can see, this is all working perfectly. I jump back up here. My crawler gets thrown up there. And now, lo and behold, we can sat once he's, the crawler has been thrown up there, we can sacrifice the thrower and get back to the 20 we need to make a tank to get us through all this nonsense. So, sacrifice him. Thank you kindly. Get yourself a beautiful tank. And just tank away. Just just tank the place up. Do all the tanking you want. Alright, we have seven guys. Six of them are still in play. Luckily, that's all you need. Okay, you gotta make sure you stay out in front of... Oh, crap. Ugh, this is very frustrating, because... Yeah, he's gonna turn around... So you gotta make him jump. Or else you would be in a position where he was gonna fall to his death. So, you just wasted two. I just wasted two. Obviously, I'm not gonna blame anybody else for that. Alright, uh, so here's what you do. You let one guy go forward. And uh, you're gonna wanna collect that DNA. Alright, so. You make him face that way. You turn him into a jumping, uh, throwing guy. You throw your beautiful tank up there. And now once your tank gets up there, this is the fun part. Uh, you're going to turn a couple of guys. Uh, do I have four guys left? One, two, uh, three, four. Yeah, okay, I've got four guys left. Uh, you're going to turn a guy into a crawler. You're going to jump up here. You're going to collect that DNA. You're going to use that DNA to detonate... The, uh, the tank, which costs 12, I believe. Yep, and so you can afford to turn this guy into a crawler and this guy into a crawler. Now you have four crawlers. Why do you have four crawlers? Because after you detonate him, you still have to get up that rise. But as you can see, you have exactly enough uh, money left to do all this. All right. And the fun part is, you still have eight full DNA points left in case you somehow spent a little too early. Okay, well, six and then eight up there. What I'm saying is, if you've actually wound up with less DNA for some reason, what you could do is uh, 
grab that DNA back there, and then have this guy throw, and then while a zombie is walking up there, steal his DNA and turn another zombie into a walker. That's what I, uh, crawler. That's what I did my first time. All right, and we are done. See, it's really that simple. And one of the faster levels in the moon level, uh, the, <laughs> the moon chapter. All right, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. If you're having trouble with this level, I hope this video helped. If you need help with any of the other levels, literally any of them in the entire game, not just this chapter, stop by the playlist where there's videos for all of them, including like six videos about the deadlock level because they kept changing minor behavior patterns in it. So I've locked down a way finally that I think reliably works because I've done it four times. You know what? That's not important. I'll see you in another video, but until then, au revoir.